Minnesota First Lady Gwen Walls, wife of Democratic vice presidential nominee Tim Walls, has opened up about her personal struggles with infertility to advocate for reproductive rights. In a heartfelt piece published in Women's Health magazine, Walls detailed her challenges with fertility treatments and expressed deep concerns about the future of reproductive health care in the United States. You never imagine that your daughter is going to have fewer rights than you do, Walls wrote, highlighting the reality that 21 states currently have abortion bans or gestational limits. She directly addressed the potential impact of former President Donald Trump winning the upcoming election, stating, Donald Trump is the one who took down Roe. I don't trust him. And frankly, I'm not willing to put my daughter's reproductive health in his hands. If he's elected, I think there will be a nationwide abortion ban. Trump has openly discussed his role in the overturning of Roe v. Wade and has campaigned on leaving abortion regulations to the states, though he has suggested that a national 15-week abortion ban could be very reasonable. While he supports fertility treatments like IVF and has expressed a desire to make them free, the legal uncertainties following Roe's reversal raise concerns for many. Vice President Kamala Harris has pledged to sign legislation restoring Roe v. Wade's protections, emphasizing the stark contrast between the candidates. Walls's personal narrative underscores the broader debate on reproductive rights, illustrating how policy decisions directly affect individuals and families. Her story brings a human dimension to the political discourse, aiming to resonate with voters and inspire action to safeguard reproductive freedoms.